Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to everybody that's been showing continuous love and support on the channel. If you new, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into some shout outs. We got a shout out for Michael White. Appreciate all the love and the support. We got a shout out from Jeffrey Miller III. Shout out from Montel Little. And another shout out from Landon K. If you wanna be shouted out in a video, all you gotta do is be active and go in the comment section and say Naughty Gang. Let's get into today's Madden 22 coin method. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just wanna become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the best ways to make coins right now in Madden 22 is taking advantage of the team builders okay so i'm going to give you a few players that's going to help you be able to make them for the cheapest amount and then resell them for the most profit starting off with cj ham he is up 32.8 percent so you can sell him between 14 and 18 thousand coins consistently okay so some people are going to lowball him right here you can see he's up for nine thousand you can buy that for nine thousand turn around and flip it sell it back for 15 or sixteen thousand and make an easy four to five profit you can snipe the pieces if you can get the golds for about 250 to 300 coins you can make this card for about 7,500, sell it for about 16,000, and that right there is a easy six to seven thousand coin profit every single time. Now, yesterday I was chasing the OBJ and I went through about 650,000 coins and I didn't pull them. So I was down to like my last 90,000, 100,000 coins. And this is the same exact method I've been using. I use some of the extra golds from the 500 coin, get a player pack, put them in the exchanges, turn them into 80 to 82 overall elites. So that is another way for you to get these elites at the cheapest because the price is at its lowest right now. 94s is under 100K. So this is a buyer's market. Okay, so let's go look at the marketplace. So looking at the marketplace, if you have 75 to 79 overalls or if you open the packs for 500 coins, you can make these 80 to 82 overalls for super cheap. You need three of them and you need three golds. You can make these for super cheap. You can make these 80 overalls for good snipes at around 800 coins instead of buying them for 24 to 2500 coins. So 800, 2400 coins right there. And then you might spend three to 500 on these. So 5, 10, 15. So you would be spending under 6K to make these cards if you were to do it the long process, which is the exchange, your golds into the elites. And then snipe these extra golds right here. You could be making these for about 65 to 7,000 coins, reselling them for about 16,000 to 18,000 coins profit baby another card that's consistently selling for over 14k is this 84 overall janoris jenkins okay so you're going to be going into the titans so you're going to be doing the vikings for cj ham and you're going to be doing the titans do this real fast before a lot of people get it this is going to help you make at the minimum at least 6k profit and up to about 12 to 13k profit every single time now we're going to go look at the golds that I just got, and I was able to get a gold, I think, for about 250 coins. So you can go to auctions, you can go to my recent bids, and right here I got this 75 overall for 350 coins. So 350, 700, 1,000 coins for each elite compared to 24 to 2,500. So that'd be 3,000 across the board for your three elites that you need, okay? Then you're gonna have your golds, which you can see right here, you can snipe them for 500 or less. So you will be making that set at the bare minimum. If you give yourself 15 to 20 minutes on the auction house and snipe the cars, you can make the entire set for about 5,000 coins. You can resell it for 14 to 16,000 coins. If you do the math, you're gonna be making profit, baby. 
Now as far as training in the rerolls, I think these 85 pluses got butchered and I think these 92 pluses is not worth it because the market right now is stupid, stupid low. 94 overalls, you can snipe them for about 81,000 coins. So on this, if you pull even a 95 overall, you're gonna feel like you're losing because they are going down super, super fast. Now, once the playoffs is announced and they have rerolls in it, that might be a chance for you to be able to make profit again. So right now, this is a buyer's market. I will be getting as much cheap training as possible and just play the game. Playing the game and using team builders is the two top ways to make coin. I can make about 115 to 120,000 coins just playing in seasons. You can see I opened up over 600K for the Odell and I'm back over 374,000 coins just from sniping and flipping cards. I was all the way down to my last 100K. We went up 270,000 plus already. I need to get back up to about a half a million for Friday so then I can have that half a million coins to take 300 and 400,000 and try to turn that into another 300 to 400,000 profit. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Be patient with your coins and your training. Be smart and take advantage of these team builders and just play the game for the next 24 hours. Easy, easy coins, profit.